Good afternoon. I have left today, left hospital after a week in the NHS, has saved my life. No questions. It's hard to find words to express my death. But before I came to that, I want to thank everyone in the entire UK for the effort and the sacrifice you have made and you are making. When the sun is out and the kids are at home, when the whole natural world seems to is loveless and the outdoors is so inviting, I can only imagine how tough it has been to follow the rules of social distancing. Social distancing. I thank you because so many millions and millions of people across this country have been doing the right thing. Millions going through the hardship of self isolation faithfully and kind of patiently and with thought and care others as well as for themselves. I want to know that this is the Sunday. I do believe that your efforts are worth it and are daily proving their worth. Because although we now mourn we mourn every day, those who are taken from us in such numbers and through the struggle is by no means over. We are not making progress in this incredible national battle against the against the coronavirus. A fight we never pick against an enemy, we still don't entirely understand. We're making progress in this national battle because the British public form a human shield around this country's greatest national asset, our national health service. We understood and we decided that if together we could keep our NHS safe. If we could, could stop our NHS from being overwhelmed, then we could not be beaten. And this country could rise together and overcome this challenge as we have overcome so many challenges in the past. In the last seven days, I have of course seen the pressure that the NHS is under. I've seen the personal courage and not just of the doctors and nurses, but of everyone's, the cleaners, the cook, the healthcare workers of every description, physicists, radiographers, pharmacists who kept coming to work, kept putting themselves in harm's way, not risking this deadly virus. It is thanks to that courage, that devotion, that duty, and that love that our NHS has been unbeatable. I want to make, pay my own thanks to the utterly brilliant doctors, leader in this field, men and women, which I will be grateful for the rest of my life. I want to thank to many nurses, men and women, whose care that been so astonishing. I'm going to forget some names, so please forgive me, but I want to thank to Pauline and Sharman and Emily and Angel and Kami and Becky and Rachel and Nikki and Annie. And I hope they don't mind if I mention in particular who two nurses who stood by my side beside by my by my beside for forty eight hours when things could have gone either way. The Jenny and Jenny Jilin from Jilin on the South Island to be extract and to Luis from Portugal near Porto. And the reason in the end my body did start to get enough oxygen was because for every second of the night they were watching and they were thinking and they were caring and making the intervention I needed. So that is how I also know that this in this country forty hours a day, for every second of every hour there are hundreds or thousands of NHS staff who are acting with the same care and thought and precision as Jenny and Lewis. This is why we still defend this coronavirus and defeat it together. We will win because our NHS is the beating heart of this country. It is the best of this country. It is unconquerable. It is powered by the love. So I'm all urged to the NHS. Let's remember to follow the rules on social distancing. Stay at home, protect our NHS and safe lives. Thank you and happy Easter.